It's time now for a little latest in local sports. In sports, Atlanta Braves and the New York Mets will close out a three-game set in Atlanta this afternoon with first pitch at 1220. That game can be heard on our sister station, WLOPAM 1370 Fox Sports. Braves win last night 4-1 to as Matt Olson and Adam Duvall each hit home runs in the game. Mets lead down to a game and a half. Again, game time today, 1220 on AM 1370 WLOP. High school football players continue to work out four days a week as the scrimmage with Glenn Academy is set for Friday, August the 5th, which is three weeks from this Friday. Head football coach Jay Bo Shaw says practices continue and he likes what he sees from his football team. Everything's been great. It's been, it was, it was nice to see the guys again yesterday and get back started. Um, shoot, we're only four weeks from scrimmage re- week, really. So, uh, you know, it's, it's go time really for us. And uh, it was good to be back and good to be back around the guys. We've kind of transitioned to our kind of second phase of training um, where we go four days a week now. We'll still get our weight room time in. Uh, it's kind of fast and furious in there because we, you know, we play in an up-tempo fashion. So everything is really, really fast in the weight room. Uh, Now moving forward, we'll still lift Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday um, and then get on the grass right after. And Wednesday is the only day that it's kind of like a recovery day for our guys and we don't take them to the weight room. It's more team stretch and uh, making sure we take care of their bodies as well. But uh, it's been great. Numbers have been great as well. Uh, We came back and, you know, you always as a coach, you think that that next day coming out of a dead week may may drop off as far as numbers, but um, you know we were right back up over 90 uh, yesterday and followed it up with over 90 again today. So again, the credit goes to our, our guys, our families, and parents, and buying in. And uh, now it's just it's about go time. We got to get ready to go. August 5th, Glen Academy comes in for a scrimmage. Have you even thought about looking at any Glen Academy field? We, we briefly, you know, I have buzzed through it briefly. Uh, we'll probably start looking more and more at that probably within the next week or even acclimation week of start looking at it deeply and, and uh, get a plan together. But right now we're still focusing on ourselves, still got some stuff we've got to install and uh, make sure we're squared away and review after that break that we had last week of remembering what we put in, in in June and making sure we're still squared away. This many players out, I'm sure there's a lot of competition, a lot of different positions. Yeah. Have you named anybody a star yet? Is it all a battle right now? How's it going? Yeah, that's the one, you know, when you have that much that much depth and that many numbers, you know, that that's the great thing about our practices is it's been really competitive and we can create some situations where it's best on best and Let's see. Let's see what happens and get really good film from it and good teach tape and and all that good stuff uh, from having those numbers. We haven't named one person yet on a, as a starter and haven't even you know we're literally you know working on personnel and depth chart and kind of uh, all that stuff. We're working on that today and because it's getting obviously getting closer to that that time. So um, you know we're looking forward to putting some guys and sliding some guys around, even that you may have saw in spring sliding. And and, and uh, getting the best 11 guys on the field, whether offense, defense, special teams, and then creating the depth that we need to, to make a hopefully a, a run and get into the playoffs. Well, you're a former quarterback. You've coached a lot of good quarterbacks. Uh, everybody knows how important that position is. How's that battle going? It's you know I'm really proud of the three guys that have been working there. Um, you know with. Uh, Tommy Weatherspoon, Jeb Craven, and Andy Peel. All three of those guys have, have where, they're, where they ended in spring to where they are now. I'm very pleased with it. Um, you know, all three bring a little bit of a different aspect to the game. Um, you know, they're, they're very dynamic in their own ways. Uh, and, you know, we've got a, thankfully, we've got four more weeks to, to hone in and continue to work our fundamentals and get to where we need to be. But I'm really pleased of, you know, they're, they're great teammates. But they also want to go win, and they want to compete, and they want to get after it, and they want to be the guy. And it'll be interesting to see how it plays out the rest of, really over the next probably, rest of this week, and next week, and uh, and really getting close to that time of, of naming a starter. Okay, coach, we'll follow up closely. Look forward to the scrimmage on. August 5th, uh, will there be a charge? People are asking that question already. Will there be a charge August 5th? Um, you know, I hadn't talked to Coach McDonald yet about it. We'll, we'll probably put something out probably pretty soon uh, about what that will be and what it will look like. And then another thing we've got coming up, um, which I will I'll get with you, Bob, about the date. Uh, we'll have our future Yellow Jacket football camp. 
and uh, it'll be free to our young kids in the public and in the community. And uh, you know, it'll be a it'll be a fun time where our varsity coaching staff and some of our varsity players and and guys on our roster will be out there with the guys, with the young kids, and and be able to start and have some fun. It'll be a great night, and we'll have that uh, that date announcement probably within the next day or two um, I will get that out and uh, so it's it's fun we're excited our coaching staff's excited and uh, you know we're going it's going to be a lot of fun I promise you that and you know I, this this whole staff and myself uh, you know our goal is to represent Wayne County with a lot of pride and put something out there on the football field that we can be proud of and and represent it the right way. Think of those comments coach Jay Bo Shaw once again the Jackets will host a scrimmage on Friday, August 5th at J.C. Stadium. The opponent will be at Glen Academy. 7 p.m. is the time. We'll have more on that scrimmage as the time gets closer. And WFO fan will be at J.C. Stadium that evening. We'll broadcast that scrimmage live here on Big Dog Country at 105.5. Fall registration for football, cheer, soccer, and girls' flag football taking place at the rec department all the way up through August 15th. If you need more information, you can call the department at 427-5915. And, again, more equals. Director is going to be our guest coming up shortly. He'll have more on that as well. Saturday's golf tournament is a sold-out event. Tees off is Saturday at 8 a.m. will benefit the high school golf program annual event. Golfers have a chance to win a new automobile from East Miss Chevrolet with a hole-in-one Saturday. Also have prizes for the longest drive and close to the pin on all par threes. And it's all set for Saturday morning, 8 a.m. at the Pine Forest Country Club in a sold-out event. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.